Part 63 The Epistle to the Hebrews Exhortations to Manifest Love Introduction When we began our study, we noted that the Epistle to the Hebrews began like an essay, Hebrews 1, verses 1 and 2, progressed like a sermon, Hebrews 2, verses 1 through 4, ended like a letter. With the final chapter, we see the tone of the Epistle taking on the characteristics of a personal correspondence. As with many epistles in the New Testament, this letter ends with various exhortations. The first regarding the objects of their love, Hebrews 13 verses 1 through 3. Here we find the author practicing what he preaches, seeking to stimulate love and good works, Hebrews 10 verse 24. As Christians, Toward whom should we manifest our love? Certainly toward all men, even our enemies. Luke 6, verse 32 and 35. But in the text, our attention is focused upon manifesting love first. Toward brethren, the importance of brotherly love. It is a mark of true discipleship. John 13, verse 35. It is an indication of true spiritual life. 1 John 3, verse 14. The Hebrews had manifested brotherly love. Note the text says their love was to continue. They had demonstrated brotherly love in the past, in their ministry to God and His saints. Hebrews 6, verse 10. Even in their service to the author. Hebrews 10, verses 32 through 34. The need for brotherly love never diminishes just as Paul wrote for the Thessalonians to excel in their love, 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 9 and 10, for the Philippians to abound in their love, Philippians 1, verse 9, just as Peter wrote that our love should abound, 2 Peter 1 and 7. Even now the author of Hebrews says, let brotherly love continue. No matter how much we may have manifested love towards one another as brethren in the past, it is imperative that such love continues. Toward strangers, this is a call for hospitality. The Greek word is philoxenia, literally a love of strangers. It involved receiving a stranger, a sojourner, into one's home as an honored guest, and to provide the guest with food, shelter, and protection. This concludes Part 63 of the Book of Hebrews.